everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana, and as you can tell today, I think I've given up trying. Just kidding, I worked all day and I'm just lounging. I'm cleaning the house today, so I was like, what better day to make a video than when I am neck deep in chores? Today, what we're going to be talking about, as you probably could tell from the title of this video, is how to, in 2020, properly book a tattoo appointment. This changes all the time. When I first started getting tattoos, the internet wasn't as big as it is now. So there's a lot of changes, and honestly, it's still changing all the time. As this video stands, this is like the, from my experience at least, the best way to book a tattoo appointment without miscommunicating or making the person you're trying to get tattooed from angry or whatnot. So we are going to address all the different things and kind of the step-by-step -step plan to booking a tattoo appointment in today's age. To start out with, you want to figure out what kind of style you want. You don't exactly have to know exactly what you want, but having like the general style and the idea of what you want is going to be really helpful in finding the artist. What I do now, not seven, eight years ago when I first started getting tattooed, I will go on Instagram. Instagram is a huge platform for tattoo artists. Instagram, Facebook, honestly, Pinterest, if you're willing to travel, I guess it's a really great tool for looking for artists that are working in your area of like, like kind of like the style that you want what I do generally I have a few artists that I go to but if I'm looking for a new artist I'll follow them on Instagram I'll kind of check out their work follow them for a few months to see if they're like really really tuned in on doing my style and then I'll go from there when I first started getting tattoos honestly the way to do it just because a lot of artists didn't put their stuff on the internet was to actually go into the shop and look at their portfolios when I first started they actually had like big Big books and you'd flip through the pages. I know it makes me sound like I'm really old. I'm only 23, I'm not that old. Still, that was the way that we did it. So I found a shop that I was like, this looks pretty cool. Went in there, looked at the artist's uh, portfolio. It was very interesting because if you went to that shop and there wasn't an artist that did your style, you'd have to leave and go to like an entirely different shop. So now with the internet, it's really easy. You can find artists in New Zealand if you're not from there. I guess not everyone is from Canada. But if you can find an artist from, you know, the states that you like, you could go and travel to them. So what I generally do is I keep my eye out on the explore page on Instagram for artists and then that will kind of give me an idea of like what I'm looking for in my area. I travel up to like three hours to get my tattoos. Not that the people in my city are bad at tattooing or not my style. It's just that when I find an artist that I really, really click with, I generally stick with them. The next step to booking the tattoo with the artist that you already found is finding out how they take inquiries. Some people do it Instagram DM. I've had people who are totally cool with me Instagramming, DMing them. The second way is to email them directly or email the shop that they work in. A lot of people do that. So like every time you email the shop, it'll go to either like the receptionist or the main artist or whatever. And then they'll kind of like push that to like whoever you're looking for. If I wanted like a specific artist in this shop, then the person who's like the receptionist would get in touch with that and be like, here, the someone's interested in you. And then that's kind of how you do it. I find Instagram really handy because a lot of people will say in their bio, like no DMs or email the shop to get an inquiry or whatever it is. Your best bet is just doing your research because you don't want to just like DM someone that you want to get tattooed and they don't even check their DMs. And so you have now sent this message that will never be seen. The next step to finding the artist and to booking the appointment is to talk to the person who you're inquiring about. So if you find this artist, so let's call her Susan. You find Susan and she does, let's say, Instagram DM. So you send her a DM. Hey, my name is Elena and I'm looking at getting this tattoo in this style, blah, blah, blah. You wait for a reply. They'll say, okay, cool. Like, what were you thinking? Send them lots of pictures. They will nowadays, not so much when I was first getting tattoos, but it's very taboo to tattoo someone else's artwork. So they will not do exactly the design that you are looking for. They will probably tweak it in their own way, add some lines, add some colors, do whatever. And they will generally be like, do you like this or not? because if you don't like it, then you're not gonna get tattooed. Message them, send them lots of pictures, make sure you guys are on the right page, because if you guys are on the same page, you'll get a tattoo that you end up loving, and it'll be worth it in the end to just go through those extra sets of pictures and questions, and honestly, ask a lot of questions. I say this in all my videos, ask your artists questions. I have had it in the past where I'm like, I want this. I show up the day and it's like not what I wanted, but like I'm so stoked, my adrenaline's pumped that I'm just like, okay, cool, like let's just do this. And then you end up with this piece that like you don't like. Honestly, ask questions, be like, are you willing to do this? Are you willing to do this? Are you willing to take this out? Like generally speaking, they'll be like, yeah, cool. Like I'll do whatever you want, but still ask 
a lot of questions. Now that your artist knows exactly what you want, then you can book a date. Generally, they'll be like, I got this day open. Does this work for you? And you can say yes or no or whatever. If it works for you, whatever. I don't know your schedule. You do what you need. But then you'll finally come up with a date that works for both of you guys and you'll go in and get your tattoo. It's honestly a really simple process, but a lot of people actually do ask me. They're like, what's the proper way to book an appointment? And I'm like, just like do your research and find out if they want to do like Instagram DM or email or whatever it is. Some people might actually want you to like go into the shop to talk to them about it, which if you're gonna get a really expensive art piece, it's worth the trip to that shop unless you're traveling to different countries or whatnot. Then is the deposit part. Now, some artists don't do deposits. I know now with like a lot of people who like cancel their appointments and stuff, they'll make you do a deposit. For example, I know it's gonna be different, but I'm gonna give you my experience. I went in for a $400 tattoo and the deposit was $100. So that deposit basically just secures your spot and so that if you have to cancel, they are not out money because chances are they've already started drawing your design up. If you go in and you have that $100 and their work is not wasted, you will lose that hundred dollars most of the time that is basically just insurance for them so that they don't go without money the next step is to start saving I actually did a video three years ago three or four years ago about like tips for saving money for tattoos I'll put that up here so you can watch that but start saving I am a huge budgeter I budget everything that me and my fiance spend I I am a little bit anal about it but I'm very particular about how we spend our money and where it goes so what I like to do is kind of come up with my own little monthly savings plan if I have a tattoo that I know is gonna be $600 because that happens sometimes you get a really expensive tattoo I divide that into how many months away from the date is and I just separate it into that many months and then that's my monthly payment that I just put into a savings account I find that so much easier than just going on the day and being like well here's 600 bucks if you just don't even think about that money in that savings account then it basically is like you are not spending money which is not the case but it does help me that is another tip that i don't actually think that i included in my other video i might have that is a way that really helps me especially if you're really anal about where your money goes which I am. The next thing is keep your artist on standby. So if you have any questions, you can just quickly message them. I don't know why I'm doing this. Not a lot of people use like laptops anymore. It's all just like this. So you message your artist. Hey, so do you guys take cash or e-transfer? This is like a big thing. Some artists only do cash. Some artists only do e-transfer. Some people do credit cards. Some people do debit. Find it out because I have gone to a tattoo appointment and they're like, okay, I only take cash. And I'm like, okay, so I'm not gonna like leave with this free piece, but I do have to go to the bank. Generally, they're okay with it. But if you just want to like avoid that like awkwardness, then make sure you know how they take payments. A lot of shops that I've been to recently, e-transfer, which is so handy. You can just beep, boop, beep. I did it this time. Beep, boop, beep. And just send the money and that's how they get their money. I am so jealous that people are getting tattoos right now. I got one, oh my gosh, like a month ago. I made a video, but I got my hand tattooed. And since then, I have been just like itching for another one. But... As some of you might know, I got engaged. I don't have the ring because I've got gigantic fingers and it is being resized right now. But planning a wedding and having like an interest in tattoos is like really difficult because it's like, I just want to get so many tattoos, but it's not worth it because I have to pay so much money for a wedding. It's totally worth it because I get to be with the love of my life forever. So anyways, that is it. This will change in the next five years. Honestly, like how to properly book a tattoo appointment, like that's going to change. Pretty soon there's going to be like drones. You're going to send like carrier pigeons, going to send it to the shop. Probably not, but still things are going to to change it's gonna be different in the next couple of years but right now in 2020 this is not covid related i will not talk about covid everyone talks about covid i don't want to talk about covid so right now if there was no such thing as a pandemic then this is kind of how things work from my experience again not an artist i do not work in a tattoo shop this is just how to kind of keep things running smoothly don't get mad at your artists if they don't respond because they're busy doing other people's tattoos just be patient, be kind, and just inquire, do your research, and you should be good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I think what I'm gonna do, because I just wanna make so many plant videos, I got a lot of really good feedback on my other plant video, and so I just wanna like do like one or the other, because I don't wanna switch genres. Like I started this channel talking about tattoos, so I wanna stick with the tattoo kind of thing, but I also really wanna talk about plants, because obviously that is like what I'm super interested in. So if I do like one or the other, like I'll do like one week plants, one week tattoos, then I kind of talk about everything I'm interested in. I don't run out of ideas, because that's a big thing that happens to me is I just run out of ideas then I can kind of make this work I think stay tuned for next week it will be a plant video I promise thank you again for watching and I will see you next week bye bye